There are many ways to teach a dog a new skill. Luring is a very easy and fun way to teach your dog certain skills. Luring simply means having something your dog likes, such as a food, piece of food or a toy, and using that to lure your dog into different positions. So Meg is going to demonstrate some easy luring using food. The important thing is when your dog follows the food, even just for a step or two at first, you should give your dog the food so that they are encouraged to follow the lure further. So Meg was just luring her dog to follow her. She lured a spin, she lured a down. There are many behaviors you can teach with luring. Let's say Meg is trying to teach her dog how to lie down with the lure. Watch as she puts the treat in front of her dog's nose and moves it slowly to the ground. She's going to mark or say yes when her dog is blowing her elbows and then she's going to give her dog the piece of food that she was luring with. Yes. Yes. As you lure behaviors, your dog will become better at performing those behaviors. When your dog is very proficient at performing a behavior, you can fade the lure. To do this, you are going to make the exact same motion with your hand but without a lure in your hand. When your dog does the behavior, you are still going to mark the behavior, but you are going to pull a treat out of your pouch instead. Meg is going to demonstrate how she will fade the lure for the down position because Volta is good at lying down. Sit. <laughs> Close enough. Yes. <laughs> yes. As Meg repeats this a few times, Notice that she no longer had the food directly yes. in her hand, but she is still moving her hand as if there is a lure in there. Because Volta has been reinforced yes. for this behavior, she is still following that hand downwards, and she is earning a treat after she performs the behavior. Yes. Over time, the gesture of moving the hand down can become less and less exaggerated until it turns into a hand signal. So now as, Volta, now as Meg practices with Volta, she is going to move her hand less and less each time and see if Volta can still perform the down behavior. Sit. Yes. As Meg practices with Volta, that her hand is moving very slightly away with each repetition. Yes. Volta is no longer reliant on simply having a piece of food in front of her nose to perform the behavior. Yes. Yes. 